things that I think are important that you need to keep in mind when you're clipping is, is know your animal, um, obviously. And no animal is perfect, and not any animal is the same. So there's, there's things that we want to improve about these cattle when we're clipping them. Try to uh, uh, fix their faults is what we're basically trying to do when we're, when we're clipping them. And then, and then you want to bring out their good points as well. So, um, you know, by clipping the, the, the shoulder down, Flipping that front end out, you're, you're accentuating that front one third, making those cattle look a little smoother in the shoulder, a little more extended, uh, more feminine through that one front one third. And then what, what Preston's starting with now is uh, he's, he's working on that tail head area, the highest point. That's another high point back there that John touched on. And what we're going to do there is basically level that hip up. Uh, from hooks to pins, again, from hooks to pins is, is uh, an area where we need to make those cattle level. Um, a lot of times some cattle will tend to drop from hooks to pins a little bit, but we can, we can improve those areas by what we're working on now. Taking that high spot down, lengthening that hip out and leveling that, that heifer, that, that steer, whatever it may be, from hooks to pins. So, and then when we're clipping that tail head in there, when he's working on as well, uh, you, you don't want to leave a big old high tail head. You just want a nice gradual incline on, on that tail head. And then, of course, you don't want to get it too low either. Otherwise, if you get it too low, that tends to drop our pin, make that hip look like it drops off again. So, just a nice gradual incline when we're clipping that tail head in there. Oh, on, the, on the back of the tail, this is one area where I always like to start, uh, is, is freshening their tail up. And you're gonna, you're gonna find where the twist is. Does everybody know what the twist, where the twist area is, or what the twist is, where it starts to split? What I call where it goes down in between the legs is where you want to find that spot to shave that tail. You're gonna shave that tail on up, both sides, front, back, with a medium blending blade. And and uh, we'll touch on that here in a minute. But the biggest thing you want to make sure you do is you can see on the back side of this tail head how we've left some extra hair back there. We haven't shaved that all off. That's going to help square that hip up that we're talking about. So make sure you leave enough hair back there. And it's almost like a fin when you're shaving, shaving that tail head. So, um, go ahead, press and press that tail head. But this medium blending blade is uh, the blades are set back, the cutter is set back just about about an eighth of an inch, and it's just going to leave a little bit of hair. It's going to take it tight, but not down the skin. So it, it won't change any color that way if you have a red cap or whatever color it may be. I suggest using these on some spots you're going to take tight, and even high spots when you're starting to I'll pass this around. 